welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again for yet another McFarlane Toys news update. No, we're not going to be talking about DC Multiverse today. We're not going to be talking about dragons either, or whatever anime that they're currently working on. No, we have the one, we have the only superpowers, the newest wave, and I'm pretty stoked. In the realm of DC Comics, where McFarlane Toys is making said toys, I'm having the most fun within superpowers. DC Multiverse has kind of fallen off the bandwagon, at least to me. Yes, there are some good things. There are some, uh, what are you doing here? But that's like any line. And as we continue on, it will go up, oh, up, oh, they're back. I'll do another video. Oh my God, now we're talking. And then I'll do another video. Ah, it's falling off the bandwagon. And that's just how collecting goes. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. It's like Vegas, right? But in the realm of action figures based off DC Comics, superpowers, it's where it's at. They've found their footing, at least with this prior wave with Blue Beetle, the bug airship. That is so much fun. That is one of the coolest things ever. And I love they did it because of the simplicity of these toys. As I've always said, sometimes toys can just be toys when you have to put so much articulation, so many details, everything else. The fun ends up getting lost. That's why we said what we said about Sergeant Rock in the DC multiverse. It's just not fun anymore. It doesn't even look like Sergeant Rock. But I feel like if you did a Sergeant Rock in superpowers, it's a lot like, like it's like it's an army guy. There you go. Boom, we're done. That looks great on my shelf. And that's again why these are fun to collect, why these are fun to display and just have a lot of fun with. But of course, before we get started, for those of you interested in any of the figures we're gonna be talking about today, I will have affiliate pre-order links down in the description below. Thank you so much for using my links. Helps the channel to grow. Also, on that note, there may be, I recorded this prior to everything kind of launching, there may be a Fleischer Superman and a Dark Knight Returns Batman. They were recently showed off at the Phoenix convention. McFarland Toys also showed off that really cool dark side of which it's DC Multiverse, but it's very superpowers with the cape. That's where that kind of comes from the comics as well. But yes, largely you would say a caped dark side is superpowers. But like I said, Fleischer Superman on the Superman buck. It's going to be that old school animation, the logo, all that jazz. And then the Dark Knight Returns Batman will be the wave one Batman black, made to look more kind of, sort of, like the Dark Knight Return. So again, if those go up in coinciding with the four that we're going to be talking about today, yeah, I'll definitely put the links down in the description below. It might be a McFarlane store kind of deal. It might be GameStop. One of those things. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. It's kind of confusing. But what's not confusing is we're getting Black Manta. Black Manta is back. He's no longer Blue Manta. He's actually Black Manta. So, that's a nice way to get black mana if you missed the first go around, which was basically a Walmart exclusive, very hard to find. Yeah, I'm just glad for those of you who missed him, you can actually have a black manta in your collection. Very simplistic. Again, it's just the figure itself. All black has the silver mask with the red eyes, the wires in the back. It's a well done figure. So very good reissue if you have to get Black Manta back out because it fits. Either you have blue, black, that sort of deal. It's not crazy. It's not some new 52 or rebirth. Or it's just, just Black Manta. But yeah, he's all black now. If you notice again on the back of the card, you'll see that Batman and Superman right there at 37 and 38, which... Yeah, we're already up to about 39 figures, give or take. There's also the Panic in the Sky Brainiac. There might be a few missing here and there. So maybe around 43, 44, just saying. Also, there's some Comic-Con quote-unquote exclusives that already went up for pre-order months ago, which was the Batman in like basically the 89 costume or meant to evoke that. And then you had the all-black Whirly Bats, and then you had the all-black Bat. Plane. So again, if those come up for any reason, I'll put all the links down in the description below. But yes, quite a few superpowers are on their way. And yes, also the Peacemaker 3-pack is also missing off of this sheet. Moving on, we have Metamorpho, Rex Mason. I think he looks pretty darn cool. There's a couple things that I was, oh, maybe a blue belt, you know, a couple changes, minor changes, but I can say, and I'm sure we all agree, that the image on the card, I'm so glad we didn't get that. We got like classic Metamorpho, and I just think that overall, 
sure, that looks really great. What would have been really cool, to be honest with you, is some clip-on accessories to emphasize those metamorphosis powers that he has. So that would be my only gripe. Happy to have Metamorpho. I think that that art style just lends itself so well. The Element Man, he's just really rocking. Again, very cool. The colors, he split down the middle, all the different elements. Happy to have Metamorpho. Next up, we have Booster Gold. Like I said, with Beetle, and he got the bug, and now, we, well, he was already teased. He was sitting in the cockpit on the artwork for the box, but yes, Booster Gold will be making his superpowers debut. He's gonna be situated right in the cockpit seat next to Ted Cord in that bug. Blue and gold, baby, that's what I'm talking about. So again, uh, let me ask you, in terms of accessories, what would be the accessory I think everybody would want booster gold to come with and i think it's 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 missing it is missing you would think that yeah booster gold would have skeets sadly he does not but you get a cool looking booster gold thank god he's in blue and that yellow i know he's a, you know, oh he's booster gold how come he's not gold he's always been like this yellowish kind of thing but it's gold in nature kind of like how the silver surfer is reflective it's always kind of that kind of style going on but I like the blue and the yellow. It's just very simplistic. And it translates really nicely to action figure form. So again, the third figure, Booster Gold. And then one of my favorites, even though he's in the Green Lantern costume, but I like him in his blue vest and all that with the whole 90s and Doomsday. Regardless, do that one eventually. But I'm happy to have Guy Gardner. Green Lantern, we got another one next to Kilowog, Jon Stewart, Hal Jordan, this is fun. This this is very cool. This is a great wave, right? So again, I'm sure we'll get that Batman and that Superman. Those are inevitable. That's what keeps the line going. But they're actually very interesting additions. I really like the Fleischer Superman over the Batman. But Guy Gardner, heck yeah. That's just killer. I love that. They got his boots, right? It's, it's not just a simple repaint. That's what's really nice about this. It's very cool. It matches the artwork. It matches what I think about with Guy Gardner and his cereal bowl haircuts. <laughs> that guy can't catch a break. But regardless, solid wave overall. Possibly six, definitely four. You've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything superpowers. And I ask this question all the time, and I think a lot of people went on the money. But let's think outside the box. Which character would you like to see enter the superpowers arena? And I think for me, number one would be Doomsday. I would like to see a superpowers Doomsday. I think that would be a lot of fun. You could get some JLA in there. You got some fire, ice, Martian Manhunter. That would be exciting to me. But yeah, Doomsday. Let's see that happen and just keep the superpowers line uh, going. I'm having a blast. But I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, when it comes to superpowers, keep the simplicity. I absolutely love it. When you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.